Victor Connie comes out and says that Ryan Garcia is retiring right now because he knows that he's going to be uh, fired from boxing soon. And um, he also recommends that Ryan Garcia should do random drug testing during his suspension. Um, That's going to be a big deal, man. I feel like this is going to be a serious situation by the time everything is all over with. Now, whether we know what's going on with that situation or not, um, we don't know yet until it fully plays out. But from what we heard so far, the news we have been getting, people said that um, a lot of it wasn't true and um, certain people were working with the higher-ups to try to frame Ryan Garcia. Um, a lot of people blame Victor Connie and said uh, they don't trust him or his business because of things he's done in the past. But uh, I don't feel like that's fair because that's like me saying I don't trust I don't trust uh, Canelo Alvarez. Um, I feel like all his victories are not really uh, official victories. I feel like he got away with some. That's like me saying that because he because uh, he failed a drug test. So I think people not knowing the process of what's going on or how this actually plays out is getting exposed because if Canelo can get uh, called out for a failed drug test. Nobody's above the failed drug test. And I feel like Ryan Garcia in the same situation. For people to feel like uh, some people are after him and he has a lot of things going on that people don't want to look look after or look towards. Um, they're kind of ignoring it. They're shielding him a little bit, um, giving excuses. Um, I, I just don't understand, you know. In, every time we've seen a guy go in the ring with somebody gets PDs or uh, we've seen someone get slighted or possibly at an unfair advantage, it's, it's been called out. I mean, no matter what it was. I thought people realized that when the Triple G fight happened. And now when you look back on the Haney and Garcia fight, it just goes to show. I'm going to just let people know though. those knockdowns. I'm going to remember that. I've been saying knockdowns. You know, people say, well, eight points and everything. Knockdowns equal certain points, but let's be real. I done seen knockdowns in fights before. So it's a lot of things that came out that Ryan Garcia situation where people said, oh, no, boxing is this way. So I want people to realize that those rules they had in the Ryan Garcia fight and other fights that have been going on, I'm going to call it out every time. You can't sit up here and try to play play uh, the god of boxing and try to make your own rules and the fans going with certain things. So those rules y'all been keeping and that y'all been going by, whether it was with uh, Fury or Garcia or anybody, keep those same rules because I want y'all to know when it comes to future fights, I don't want to hear people saying they got robbed and everything else. I just heard some people saying um, lately, oh, guys got destroyed and decision fights. I mean, I haven't seen nobody get knocked around the ring like uh, Tyson Fury in the decision fight. So to say that someone got blown out in the decision and they didn't really get pummeled like that, yeah, that shows the difference. But Victor Connie basically calling out this whole situation. And it's exposing a lot. People start to talk about Victor Connie. I'm going to be honest with you. This is the most I heard about Victor Connie since I've been watching Boston. And I knew about him years ago, long time ago. But for people to bring his name up now, like over and over, kind of make him celebrity, I mean, it's free promotion for him. He's going to have people that don't even uh, box saying, hey, man, you Vic DeCarney? Like, can we do business? So it's free promotion. I'm pretty sure he's not mad at it. But it is kind of defam it's, it is defamation a little bit because it makes it seem like he's doing something he's actually not. And that situation is becoming weird now, you know. It's been dragging on too long. Um, I actually like the whole situation, to be honest with you. Not that I don't like the part about Haney getting hurt or the PEDs, nothing like that. I like the situation as far as it exposed the fans who want to play sides and who are not fair. I've seen people who talking about Wilder got beat with a floppy glove talking about Ryan Garcia innocent. Now, these dudes believe Wilder got beat with a floppy glove, not saying that he did it. Um, they feel like 
Fury had PDs in the system. They feel like this, this, and the referees, and the judges, and everything else. But when they got to the Ryan Garcia situation, oh, no, I don't, I don't think Ryan Garcia did it. But you believe Wilder got beat by Fury with a floppy glove. But in this situation, bro, do you realize that this situation is easier to figure out than the Wilder situation? So you for you to figure out the Wilder situation, but not this Garcia situation, it lets me know that you're uh, basically playing sides. And a lot of fans, they don't like that. A lot of fans do like that because it has nothing to do with boxing, so they're cool with that. A lot of people don't like speaking on boxing every day. If you actually go on a boxing channel and talk about boxing for three, two hours, just, just about the fight, they're not going to want to hear that. They want to hear the background, the drama, um, and everything else. And as we've seen, People just want to uh, have a good laugh in boxing. That's it. They don't care about the fighters or the PDs and stuff like that. They just want to support certain people and uh, they just want to see certain pr people lose. If anybody's dad talking too loud, they ain't gonna like that. They're gonna blame a guy named Victor Cunny if he's has a bad background, according to them, and uh, comes out. But I I don't understand though, cause Canelo he has a bad background. It's a lot of people around him that failed drug tests, allegedly. So he in the same situation as Victor Cunningham. I don't understand that. But uh, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.